morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, December the 8th. My name is Anne-Marie Band, and this is the Moneyball Morning Report for the Benzinga Pro platform. Uh, if you were looking at the Benzinga Pro feed yesterday, you'll notice that we positioned a couple of things on the bounce that I anticipated that we would have. We really have a contract rollover coming, so that bounce could dissipate, but we are, we are eventually going to make some money out of that arbitrage coming from the bounce action. So we've really started with the futures this morning. It's very cluttered, but the heat map shows us that we're bouncing off of uh, congestion that's turning into support. Sometimes that congestion can turn into resistance, but it's turning into support right now. And so what we're looking at is the VWAP being well below us and the point of control for the volume being also well below us. So we're expanding into resistance ranges. Let's move all the way back to the four hour chart. And what we're seeing here is the big thing for the charts to do is actually recover the low of last week. And we see a lot of sellers there. All right. And so that's really what we're going to watch. Let's go directly to SPY and we'll talk about the levels that we want to see. Notice I have the options grid taking a look at things into January. And so what we're seeing is a fair bit of scattering all the way around, some very bullish, but a lot of them pretty bearish. Uh, some folks thinking that we might see some loss harvesting before the end of the year. So here we have the month in view and last week in view. And yesterday we closed on the edge of this area, right? And this morning we're bouncing, we're up above 395. We're seeing a lot of selling pressure there in the pre-market for now. And so what we have to realize is this is a flow downward. We've come into support. Support is trying to hold. And now we have to see if support is going to hold or not. It's still not out of the woods, right? And so if we hold this edge from today, here's where we are in the pre-market, just a bit over this zone. If we hold this edge, we're going to move right up into the 398 area and legitimately we've got a good shot of bouncing right back into last week's range. Why? We've got no catalysts to really move the market in one direction or another. That's going to happen next week. Today we've got a couple of different things going on, um, but nothing that's going to definitively move us as well as, um, you know, uh, what the Fed might say next week. Okay, levels to watch. Listen, we get underneath this 392. You're going to see sellers. So if you want to wait for the fade there and then the failure to bounce, right? Step one, I stop moving higher. Step two, I break the floor. And then on the bounce, I can't hold my support. And that tells us that we could be moving down right now. We're sitting underneath these flat moving averages, but traders are really trying to bounce it. Again, if we hold above the 395 area, buyers are going to get excited about moving in to the next space. Let's take a look at the cues. Right from let's let's start on the weekly so we can see where we are. Uh, And we can see that, again, the queues are moving up in the space. We're looking at about 282 in the pre-market here. So that's way up here in this area. So we're inside of last week. Purple, the month, gray, the week. That's what we're doing inside of the Trend Spider platform. And so that really is, is uh, what we're looking at from this perspective. We can see how nicely that goes. All right, let's go to the four hour. And again, you can see we don't really have any heat maps going here telling us what's going on. But we can see a floor, a floor and a floor sitting here that could punch us up into the north. All right. So that's really what we're looking at. Levels to watch below 279. We are going to fade right above 283. Buyers are going to start getting a little bit anxious and they're going to start moving it up. I think we're sideways. Same amount of things going on. We'll see what happens this week. Good luck trading today. Hey, if you were able to get into those spreads with uh, CF and FSLR, 
we're looking great. We had a short that we put uh, on earlier in the space, and now we're looking to start buying again. So we'll see what happens there. All right, take care, and I'll see you on the platform.